Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And we hope everyone is having a great weekend. Marie and I were doing just fine today. And we've really had a busy week this last week. Yeah. Uh, so many things to talk about. I don't know where to start. Do you, Marie? <laughs> yeah, the Braves. They won. <laughs> <laughs> we did stay up late and watched them all the way to the end. Yeah. and watch some of the celebration and so uh, we were very happy that our home team won the uh, World Series and I thought that was pretty neat, didn't you Marie? I did. The last time they won was 1995 and so that's been a long time ago. It certainly has. <laughs> and uh, Marie and I, we don't follow baseball that closely but uh, when it gets down to our home team, you know, doing good, we yeah. do follow on them. Okay Marie, uh, what would you like to talk about first here this morning? Uh, well, I did some uh, more Christmas shopping at the Dollar Tree, and I, I did a Dollar Tree haul and a Christmas decorating uh, video. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed doing that. Yeah, she did the Dollar Tree shopping and the haul and the decorating. Yeah. Now I've got to get all the editing done. <laughs> but if we can get it edited and finished, we'll put it up on Tuesday. I call it, this is how I decorate on a <laughs> small budget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to go up into our attic to get a few things that she needed for decorating. Mm -hmm. And I think I made four trips up in that attic. And i just be honest with you, I'm getting too old for going up in the attic. I know. Uh, we've got the pull down steps. But it's still, we both it's, are. A, it's a challenge. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about after this year at Christmas, I think I'm going to uh, take everything out of the attic and I'm going to find another location to store that so I don't have to go back in the attic to get it <laughs> next year. But uh, we, we do things a little different. As you get older, you do have to adjust and do things differently than what you used to. And so this year we did not put up our big tree and we didn't put up Marie's uh, big village. You've got two or three villages, but we didn't yeah. put any of the big ones up. Uh -uh. We didn't get your big snowman down and put it up. And we didn't get the uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus down. Yeah. <laughs> but we still got decorated. It's real nice for us. We'll be, um, for Thanksgiving, we're going to our uh, son and his wife's house for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And then for Christmas dinner, we'll be going to our daughter's house. And so just all the family will be coming together at those two homes. Uh -huh. And that saves Marie from having to prepare the big meals for the family. Because yeah. that's an extremely large amount of work. Yeah, I have neuropathy and so it, it gets kind of difficult after several hours and it really to prepare a big dinner like that. It's It takes a while, don't yeah. it? Yeah. But, uh, so, well, since I mentioned that, that, you know, we're not going to be cooking the big meals here at our house for the holidays this year. But what we're doing, we're doing a little holiday food series. And uh, Marie's going to be cooking some uh, meals to show in that holiday food series. But we also have selected a couple of the meals that she's done previously that we're going to show. And so uh, it'll be things that you'll enjoy. Uh, in fact, this coming up Monday night, we're going to be doing Marie's chicken and dressing that she likes doing. Yeah. And you make the absolute best chicken and dressing, Marie. I love it. I've said it before, that's one of my favorite meals is chicken and dressing. Yeah, but you make a good chicken and dressing too. Back well, when I was sick and, and you uh, filled in, uh -huh. you made some really good chicken and dressing. Well, I just follow your instructions and you give me good <laughs> instructions. Okay, uh, well, we sort of got off track there talking about some other stuff, but <laughs> that's okay. Marie, you want to talk about what we did Wednesday? Oh, um, yeah, we went and seen Kim and Addison, and we had so much fun, and we could not believe how uh, Addison has progressed so <laughs> much. In just three months, she was cooing, and then there was a commercial on... Um, uh, my granddaughter's television and they were singing in it and Addison actually act like she was 
making sounds in a uh, singing voice. Yeah, she was trying to do it with the <laughs> sound. <laughs> right. Uh, she is so sweet and precious, but I do have a little short video clip of Addison. And what I'm going to do is at the very end of this video today, I'll add it to the very end of the video. So if you want to uh, see Addison, uh, just watch to the very end of the video and you'll see it. <laughs> okay. And Marie got another little surprise package through the mail today. Oh, no, not today. It came yesterday, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Johanna Delora, she sent us these um, thick cutting boards, and I just had uh, told Kevin that we were going to have to get us some new cutting boards, and uh, so we threw two of them away, our old ones away, mm -hmm. and when this came in the mail, we were shocked. <laughs> Actually, I think we threw them away one day. And those came the very next day. Yeah. So it was a complete surprise. Yeah. Um, we'd already talked about we was going to go pick up some. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, here they are. And they're really nice and uh, extra thick. Mm -hmm. So thank you again, Johanna. We appreciate your thoughtfulness. Okay. Now, I've already mentioned the Holiday Food Series. And if you noticed on couple of videos this last week the uh, intro had holiday food series on it I hope you're enjoying that and if you are let us know uh, what you think about it okay Marie will go ahead and move into the videos that we did last week unless you have something else that you want to uh, say about any of this other up here um, I think we cover just about um, everything but I say that you got my sonic uh, experiment <laughs> down there. <laughs> what can I say about that? That was our first video, the Sunday chat. Yeah. And uh, Marie made the pie that we called the sonic experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we had two different pie pies and we mixed them up together. <laughs> and uh, it, it tasted like um, strawberry and banana. So and that's what it was. <laughs> and you really seemed to enjoy it. I did. It was very delicious. But as much as I enjoyed Marie's pies, I am going to have to cut back on my sugar content. Yeah. And so st starting from this day forth, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be cutting back on all the sweets. <laughs> okay, next video that Marie did was a part of the holiday food series, and it was the coconut icebox cake. And that's a real easy, delicious cake. You can fix that up and carry it to any holiday party and you'll really enjoy it. <laughs> and not only will you enjoy it, but it'll be a big hit. Yeah. Because I, I guarantee that's the best tasting coconut cake there is. <laughs> oh. And it's very easy too, so that <laughs> helps. <laughs> we like that, don't we, Marie? Yeah. Next video that Marie did was the shrimp bacon and corn chowder and what did you think about that one Marie? Well I really uh, enjoyed it and I liked it and uh, I had a pound of shrimp in mm -hmm. my refrigerator and I was looking around on uh, some in some recipes and I found it and so I decided that that would be something really good to make and it really was. And I was thinking that I probably wouldn't like this too much. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not a fan of shrimp. And <laughs> <laughs> but when she got through with it, and uh, when I got a bowl and ate it, it turned out to be extremely delicious. Yeah. And so I turned around, came back, and got a second bowl of that same uh, meal. Yeah. And then I had some leftovers of it. I really enjoyed it. And there's something about the texture of the corn and the onions together in it. And you use the immersion blender and blend them up. Yeah. And uh, it just really had a good texture to it. it you know, it wasn't real thick, but it wasn't thin. It was just a good chowder, that's what yeah. it was. But I really enjoyed it. And several people commented that they would make it without the shrimp. Yeah. And I'm sure it'd be great that way. Yeah, some people put potatoes in, it, in their chowder. And uh, also, if you want to thicken it up a little more, you can put uh, flour and corn 
flour or cornstarch in it. Right. And, uh, and you mentioned making it with the uh, potatoes, and I'd like for you to try that one day. I think I would enjoy it. Well, do you want me to leave the shrimp out or put the yeah. shrimp back in? Leave the shrimp out and just make it Corn. with uh, maybe the bacon and potatoes. Oh, okay. And try that or something along that line. All right. Okay, then the uh, next video that we did last week was our Throwback Thursday video, and it was, uh, it was entitled Friday Night Pizza. And that was a video where Marie and I, about a year ago, where we made a homemade pizza here at the house. Yeah. And uh, we had used some little small pizza crusts. And what had happened, we ordered them on Walmart pickup and we ordered the big crust. And they substituted us with three of those little small ones. Mm -hmm. But they turned out to be very delicious and we enjoyed them. And yeah, we did. And the way we did it, I made my pizza the way I wanted mine and Marie made hers the way she wanted hers. And yeah. it turned out to be real good. So I thought that was a, a real good uh, video that we could share again with you on Throwback Thursday. And you also make good homemade pizza crust, but you hadn't did that in a long time. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Well, we like making pizza crust also but you know like I said you know that takes extra time to do it yeah. and let the bread rise and everything and I'm all for just <laughs> fast and easy way <laughs> okay next video Marie did was the cherry cream cheese pie and I'll let you talk about it first but I gotta talk about this pie it's just a really like I say fast and easy and good pie it's budget friendly and it's very delicious and uh i don't know anything else to say except what else can you say oh that's great it? oh it's it's very, as far as desserts it's probably my favorite dessert i would suggest though if you make this pie to not use the great value ingredients although i have made it before with the great value ingredients mm -hmm. and it has come out really um good but i think it comes out better if you use the philadelphia cream cheese and the, and eagle, the, brand e milk. And the eagle brand milk and yeah. not use the off brands <laughs> now some things you can use the off brands in and they work out fine mm -hmm. but on this pie i would use brand names yeah well um what i want to say about the cherry cream cheese pie i was talking about this uh, morning to marie and i remember uh back when i was working before i retired um when it come holidays marie would always be preparing a meal while i'd be at work and uh i'd come home and i'd say that cherry cream cheese pie and usually you would make two of those I for did. every meal. She'd make two of those cherry cream cheese pies. And they were so delicious. And I thought that they were extremely hard to make and probably took a long time and a lot of work. Back in those days, I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, but now, well, some of the things that I made, I made from scratch. And they did take a very long time. So I, I liked when I come across something that didn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do remember the uh, German chocolate cake took a long time when you made it from scratch. And yeah. the uh, that orange, spicy orange carrot cake you did took a long time. Yeah. Uh, and it was hard to work to make it. But, but anyway, I thought these were extremely hard to make. And she also made those pineapple, uh, what's it called, pineapple cream cheese pies. And they're very good and, and very easy. Yeah. And all these pies, I was thinking, oh my goodness, Marie, you've been working so hard. <laughs> And uh, but after I got more involved with uh, helping her prepare some of the meals, I learned that these two desserts are very easy to make, very delicious, and I don't know anybody that don't like Marie's cherry cream cheese pies, mm. and they're always asking for them. That's true. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to say about that. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, now I'm going to be making uh, the coconut. Uh, cake this time to carry to um, Tara's house. Uh -huh. Is that the one you want or do you That's want? it. I want that coconut ice box cake. Okay. That's my favorite coconut cake. You've got a couple of different ways that you make yeah, it, I do. but I love that particular cake. I'm surprised though that you didn't want the Paula Dean strawberry cake. 
Well, I like that Paula Dean strawberry cake, but I like this coconut cake better. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so. Right. We and might, that's, that's the one I'll make then. Yeah, we might highlight your uh, Paula Dean strawberry cake as one of the holiday food series. Okay. If you want to. And um, so for upcoming videos, I'll go ahead and let you know that Monday night, uh, we're going, Marie's going to be doing her uh, chicken dressing and gravy as part of the holiday food series. Yeah. And then uh, Tuesday night, we're going to be doing the video where Marie did a Christmas haul and uh, decorating. Yeah. And that may end up being a very long video because I haven't started editing it yet. Yeah. But I have got a lot of footage recorded. Uh, I'll try to keep it within a reasonable length if I possibly can. Okay, Marie, well, that's about all I've got for this week. And do you have anything else you'd like to add to it? Not really. It's just that when I, when I will be doing my decorating, mm -hmm. it's what I call decorating on a budget. Okay. <laughs> well, it's just and fast for, and easy. <laughs> and it's just for me and you. We're not yeah. trying to impress anyone. No. <laughs> and no one's coming to our house this year mm -hmm. for meals, so we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we mentioned the weather, but we woke up this morning with temperatures in the uh, mid-30s. I think it's 36 or 37, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was cold this morning, and we definitely felt it, didn't we, Marie? It certainly did. <laughs> okay, well, we hope everyone enjoyed this uh, Sunday chat. We appreciate you taking your time to watch uh, Marie and I talk a little bit every Sunday morning and uh, be sure and watch after we close the video and you'll see little Miss Addison. She's so precious. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone have a great weekend and we'll see you on the next video. And y'all all do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin said, we'll see you on the next video. And bye. Hey, big girl. Oh, she's looking good now. You smile? This, this is our little great-granddaughter, Addison Marie. <laughs> she's so precious. <laughs> Trying to see if she would smile. You smile, baby? They swapped. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> Say, I was getting upset. <laughs> um, do you think I'm Cynthia? Do I talk like your grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna talk about it, baby? <laughs> Is Papa getting your picture? Is Papa getting your picture? Yeah. Gus is coming in here to watch you. He's gonna make sure you get watched good. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hi, hi. You looking at Pops? <laughs> yes, you looking at Pops. You so special. Yes, you are. You just a sweetie pie. Yes, you are. Mm. Yeah. Go. Go, go. You know what? <laughs> I taught my little brother to say kitty cat when he was four months old. He certainly did. He said, kitty, kitty cat. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here